Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our trend reversal trading strategy in depth, and how we use it in combination with price action. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell, so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Trend reversals are not hard to spot. Most of the time they are as obvious as night and day. So what's the big problem then? Where does all the confusion come from? Well, it's the same thing over and over again. The problem is this, most traders make it far more complicated than it needs to be. So let's strip away some of that confusion now. Let's simplify trend reversals and take things back to basics. Less focus on things that don't really matter and more focus on making money. In this video, I will give you an easy 5-step process to identifying when a trend is reversing, when to act, and how to take maximum advantage. So, let's get started. Step 1. Find a trend to reverse. Don't get confused and bogged down in the detail. Clear all your indicators off your chart and get it nice and clean. Zoom out. If a trend jumps off the screen, it's likely that you have something to work with. Let's see this chart and ask yourself if there is a trend in place and what direction it is moving. Pretty obvious, right? Now, what about this one? Although you have to lean in closely, squint a little, and scratch your head, it's likely that there's no trend there. If there's no obvious trend on your chart, change instruments. There are thousands of markets to trade. Keep looking until you find a trend that jumps off the screen at you. Here are some examples. Step 2. Decide what trend reversal indicator you are going to use. It's time to take a closer look. We need to add some context to this blank chart. That means adding some indicators or looking for some patterns. You can spot a market trend reversal with any of the following indicators or patterns. You'll not go too far wrong using any of these. First, watch for a break in a pattern of higher highs and higher lows market trends move in waves. These are often known as higher highs and higher lows. Or in a bearish market, lower lows and lower highs. If you can spot a series of higher highs and higher lows in the market, congratulations. You've spotted a trend. When that pattern ends, the trend usually ends with it. Second, wait for a break above or below a moving average. The most popular moving average strategy is watching for crossovers. Many algorithmic black box traders use moving average crossovers to monitor the health of a trend. One combination they use is a 20 and a 50 combination. But other combinations can be used too. The sign is when one moving average crosses over the other. The advantage of this approach, you can be confident that you'll be watching the same signal as the big traders. Step 3. The trend reversal event. Now we've got a trend, and we've got an indicator or pattern telling us that a trend reversal might be on the chart. Now we are on to stage 3 of the 5 stage process. So, we're getting down to business now. What is a trend reversal event? A trend reversal event is a specific set of circumstances that once they happen, it tells you that a trend reversal has occurred. This is not something you can make up as you go along. You have to define it in advance. 
If you wait until you are in the middle of a moving market and money is on the line, your ability to make clear decisions will be clouded. Here are some example of trend reversal events. Higher highs and higher lows. Trend reversal is when a candle closes below the last higher low, means that the trend has reversed. When the 20 moving average crosses the 50 moving average, means that the trend has reversed. Step 4. Take action. Take your trend reversal trade. So let's recap. First, we've found a trend. Second, we've decided what indicator or chart pattern we're going to use to tell us that the trend might be coming to an end. Third, our specific trend reversal event that we've decided upon in advance has occurred. Now, it's time. Your signal that you have been waiting for has happened. It is time to spring into action. Traders often spend hours thinking about what they are going to do when X, Y, or Z event happens. Yet when what they have been waiting for actually happens, they freeze. They start second-guessing themselves, introducing new indicators into the mix, looking at different timeframes, basically talking themselves out of taking action. If you are already in the market, this is a signal that you may have to close a position. But if you are waiting for a trade to set up, now it might be time to open a position. Make sure to set your stop loss first. Have some confidence in your analysis. If you have got to this stage, there is a really good chance you're onto something. Trust your analysis, trust the chart, and take action. So, we're getting down to business now. Higher highs and higher lows. break above or below a moving average.
As we've said already, there are a lot of different ways you can identify trend reversals. Trust your analysis, trust the chart, and take action. Step 5. Stay consistent. This is the most important one of all. Now you have learned practically everything you need to know about identifying when a trend is reversing in the market. First, you can identify a trend. Think like a four-year-old and let it jump off the screen. Second, you have an indicator or chart pattern that alerts you to the possibility that trend might be coming to an end. Third, you have a specific set of criteria that tells you when the trend has finished. And fourth, you know to take action, trust your analysis and either open or close your trade. That is practically everything you need to know, it's not difficult, but there is one way you can take all that excellent knowledge and piss it up against the wall. And that is, step 5. Remaining consistent. Not staying true to your rules is the biggest mistake you can make. If you have a few losing trades, don't start tinkering. Don't introduce additional indicators that will only confuse your analysis and cloud your judgment. Don't tinker with settings or indicators. Combine some price action analysis and trend reversal analysis with some good risk to reward trades. So now, you have a lethal weapon for trading the markets. That's all you need. As always, if you learned something new, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.